Blueprints. We have Nate Blaisdell, Pete Mackey, Rob Irving, and... Blake Yates. Yay. New guy! <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what this means, a keeper of documents. Come on, Rob. Spill the beans. Everything we are thinking about, well, Chris is thinking about, everything in his head has to be somewhere that new people can find it, that artists can find it, that programmers can find it. So we spell it all out on paper, well, in this case, in Confluence. Um, everything's documented. Every system, every piece of equipment, everything has to be written down. This is a massive open world. It's my first day, I swear, I panicked. I, I looked at him like, there's no way we can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up. So in Confluence, how does this how does this work? You talk to Chris. You guys have your stand-ups. Tell us how the process works. We do have meetings now. We didn't. Uh, we were free form, right? I mean, guys, we've been working fine without a lot of meetings. Mate, do you like meetings? Really? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Short ones. But yeah, we we try not to meet too much, but it's it's constant interaction with one another. So we all the departments work together. One of us is always moving around between desks. And well, how do you get ideas out of Chris's head? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we sit down and ask him. Sometimes it's throw something out there and say, hey, Chris, what do you think? And then he'll tell us. Sometimes. Sometimes there's a question that comes up that we're all like, hmm, we don't think we have an answer to that, to that. Maybe Chris does, and if he doesn't, then it's up to us to kind of shoot ideas around and get everybody in agreement. So say, for example, with the new ship, the Avenger, does that start with you guys? It did. That was a spur of the moment, five minute discussion where we were all just sitting around. It's like, why don't we make up a new ship while we're sitting here? And so the Avenger was born. Ten minutes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it took, it took ten minutes. And then we had the stats page from Ben and it was all done. Yeah. It's like, look, new ship. So with the Hangar app then, what do you guys do on the design side? It's like, well, we need to design ship parts. We need to figure out how many ships fit in the Hangar, you know, what the different styles of Hangars are. We, we have a wiki page for that. Which is the, here's the discount hanger, here's the nicer hanger. Yes. How do you interface with the parts that you have and yeah. get them on your ship and stuff like that? So the, okay. the user interaction experience is something that we go through. In fact, I'm working on that right now. So you have ideas, you bring them to programmers and the artists, and then they say, okay, well, this isn't possible, or we can't do that. <laughs> or do they always say that? They it's always like, say that. They're not allowed to say that. Well, <laughs> you know, my, my experience has been that sometimes they will get an exasperated look on their face and uh, say that might not be possible and then 20 minutes later they come back and say I figured out how we can do that. So a lot of times uh, you know the initial shock of like you want what <laughs> uh, is kind of overwhelming but everybody wants to make something awesome so they usually take it and chew on it for a minute and then figure out how to make it work. It also helps to have some alternatives in your back pocket and to present to them. As it's well. a negotiation a lot of times. It's like, well, we want to go this far. How far can the programming team go? How far can the art team go? You know, how much can we really do? But we try to push for the more instead of the less. And a lot of this is inspired by the fact that you're all gamers. You geeks. get the geeks. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a geek? No. <laughs> yeah. None of you are geeks. Come on, no, no. please. We, we I mean, are... look at this. I, I, what does this say? I had friends on that Death Star? That's not geek. Zombie <laughs> Bay. We, we've bay got, we've got the creative shirt geek. side, and then we've got the kind of just... I was that sad, all right? So... <laughs> No, I've just been a uh, fan of that kind of stuff, you know, really, just like a lot of people, I think, you know, from the first time I saw Star Wars, you know, really is kind of where it started for me, but then, you know, playing, like, Wing Commander games in the late 80s and 90s, that was, you know, that set the, set the tone, and then it's kind of just something I've thought about for a long time, so something I wanted to do. Should, should I admit that my, what my earliest memory is? Sure. Yes. Why you have to now. <laughs> now. Now you have to cough it up. Let's go, man. <laughs> the earliest memory is being in a theater when I was, I must have been about one year old, and seeing the whole Star Wars scene where they're, or Chewbacca is playing the game, the little game on the Millennium Falcon, and then I jump to light speed. Like, those are my <laughs> earliest memories. So how much work have you got laid out right now? Where are we at? We are running like half a step ahead of, what production needs, basically. It's like, we need to know how this works. Well, we'll start on that right now! <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's going to be constant, constant pressure all the way through to keep things designed. It's pretty much endless, an open world. So you can start with the smaller focus and just have a general, broad idea of where you're kind of 
going. Absolutely. A lot of times it's just one of them wandering up to my desk and going, hey, uh, when, I'm not, when I'm not working on what I'm working on right now, can I design this system or that system? Like, Nate, you did bounty hunting. So is Confluence just a fancy word for, like, Google Docs? It is. It's a, it's a wiki. It's a giant Wikipedia, basically, of Star Citizen. I'm mean, sure the fans would love to get their hands on those documents. <laughs> no. Keep, keep her the keys. <laughs> That's right. Keep her the um, keys for the blueprints. We may have some version of it for them when the, we release the modding tools and stuff like that. We'll sure. Absolutely. We'll some edited version of it to, so we can see the nuts and bolts. And we have Magic Dave to, to put all the little teasers out there of the things we want to talk about because he can write fiction around any system Magic we're working Dave. with. Magic Dave! <laughs> the writer man. Besides you guys, we also have Dan Tracy. Dan Tracy. And? And Dave Haddock is sort of an honorary designer. He's on Skype with us all the time. I mean, everything he does comes past my desk. He's, he's he has he's some really fantastic. good ideas. He does, and he helps us to get bits of what we're doing out to the audience even when we're not ready to reveal and the whole system. great at keeping us consistent. Otherwise, like, threads would just start running like wild horses out and he kind of reins them in and makes sure everything, like, fits together. So yeah. he does a really good job. And so do that. we need a lot more of you then? We do. We're gonna, when we start really building stuff, we're going to need an army of designers. So we're just we're ramping up slowly because we have to get all the tools in place before we can actually build all this stuff. I know that we've got some of these guys learning the engine already, so... We'll be ready. We have a lot of missions to make and a whole lot of star systems to build. And yeah, we're gonna be busy. All right. Thank you to all our designers, the keepers of the blueprints. And later on tonight, we're gonna look at our artists. Uh, hold on, I'll just check. Uh, you gotta get to me though. One more foreplay, basically. Right. I don't know we're going to be live again, so I don't know how to be. And now, we are back with the uh, design chat. And, uh, these are the sole surviving fans here at uh, Cloud Imperium Austin. Yep. Oh. Who the, uh, the fans won the uh, poker tournament. Whoa, awesome. It's a win. Congratulations. In anybody's book, I guess. That means you have more money to buy another ship. I, I'm, I'm still significantly in hole in the hole for the day, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you walk off with something significant today? Uh, today may have found a M50 racer to find out truly which is faster, the M50 or the uh, 350R. Noble, a noble pursuit. Uh, <laughs> I have my space pig ready to go. My starfarer. Uh, Big time piggy ship, and I may have found a Corvette tonight. Wow. Oh, well, sir, so he stripped his colleagues off the ship. Now <laughs> there, we can have a new new little competition between the LA office and the uh, Austin office. How many uh, Corvettes did you guys buy? He has one, and by extension, one of my very good friends managed to pick one up from the second. Or I guess technically the third. Really, this is, we're talking the, sec the second Idris uh, uh, pickup. Right, the six minute one. I had a buddy who managed to grab one at that. <laughs> so I guess by extension, I get to mop the yeah, floor. Okay, so LA2, Austin yeah. 5. Well, by 2, we mean 7. There's okay. more. <laughs> <laughs> ben, Austin can bump up above that, right? Yeah, 57. 57. 57. 57. Oh, okay. 57. Well, <laughs> according to Ben. 57 of the 50 Corvettes we've sold nine. <laughs> well, we got a scythe, I guess. I'm going to ask Chris about that later. Maybe. <laughs> Both of them. Maybe there was a crash landing somewhere. Uh, yeah. 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 Crash landing somewhere. We, we'll, we'll, we'll match the scythe. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. We'll, we'll... That's true. I, w I was chuckling a little bit about the people are asking if they could land their scythe inside of their brand new cruiser like that has to be a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of the one percent feeling like oh what the heck i got both exclusively but i can't dock one on the other <laughs> killing me here 99 percent of us can't sympathize too it's much the but ultimate first world it is problem. it is their <laughs> ultimate it is the ultimate first world problem imaginary spaceships imaginary imaginary spaceships at this point also true Yep. Yeah, the concept art 